Hi everyone, and welcome back to Pink with the Flavors. Today, it's all about steak and potatoes. And, just a little heads up, if you guys want to get one of these cool aprons, you can check them out at coolaprons.com and uh, grab yourself one. All this, thank you. Alright guys, so it's all about steak and potatoes today. So I already have these marinating. They've been out for about five minutes. So I marinated these bad boys in a little bit of my seasoning blend right here. You guys already know what's in it. And a little bit of olive oil. I'm letting that set aside. Let it come up to temperature. You want to take your meat out at least 30 minutes before you're going to cook it. So let's dive into these potatoes. Just uh, washed a couple of russets. And all we're gonna do we're going to take it in half and then we're going to do some wedges just like that don't worry if there's a little black you guys can just take this little stuff out of here you don't want it you don't have to eat it but you can eat it if you want to just going to be bitter so we're just going to keep going and we're going to get them all about the same size so you finish cutting all these into wedges and then right into your favorite baking dish. So we're just gonna infuse these potatoes with a little bit of extra flavor. And you already know I love garlic. So we're just gonna smash these garlic cloves, remove the papers and get the chopping. We're just gonna do a nice rough chop on these and infuse these potatoes with a little bit of love. Then we're just gonna roughly chop this garlic. We're not going to mince it, we just want it a rough chop. This is just going to help infuse our potatoes with some amazing flavor. So we set that aside. We're going to go ahead and get our potatoes here. In goes the garlic. And then to that, we're going to take about a third of a cup of olive oil. Just like that. And then of course, we're gonna use our seasoning blend all around. Remember this has garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, and it is just delicious. And then we're just gonna massage the potatoes all around. And I do have my oven preheated at 425. These are gonna get nice and brown, and they're gonna be delicious with the steak. So once you have that like that, we're ready for the oven. So into the oven with the potatoes. They're gonna go for about 25, 35 minutes. So we'll see when we get there. So I have saved some bacon fat. You guys can use canola oil if you want, but this is gonna impart so much flavor. So that goes into the pan. This pan's been preheating at a medium high heat. We're gonna crank up the heat a little bit more. Just so we get that nice, delicious crust on our steaks. So just make sure that it's evenly coated the pan all the way around. And as soon as it hits the pan, you're instantly greeted with that bacon flavor you so love. If you don't like bacon, then obviously this isn't for you, but that's how we do it here. So I'm going to put these steaks to the side for a second. We're just going to take a few cloves of garlic with the palm of your hand, just smash it leaving the paper intact. This is going to help infuse the steak with a lot of flavor. So this pan is nice and hot. We're going to take our steak laid away from you into the pan. Let that go and you're going to develop a crust on one side. The garlic goes in just throw it right in there. So we're just starting to develop a nice crust on each steak. On one side, we're gonna add some butter, because butter and bacon go so well with steak. We're just gonna add that into the pan. Take a spoon, we're just gonna take that and just start scooping that right on the top. 
just like that. So you get all that delicious flavor all over each steak. Crusting just one of the sides because you want a nice deep sear and you want that flavor to build on one side. And then you're gonna take it and flip it over. Now we're gonna take these, flip them over. Look at that beautiful crust that we're getting. That's what you're looking for. Nice and golden brown and crusty. Flip it over for just a second. Now we're going to turn the heat off because we're pretty much done with our cooking process. We're going to just let it sit for another minute on that opposite side, baste it again with some of that butter and some of that bacon fat, and then we're going to take these out and let them rest. Easy, peasy, lemon squeezy. That's what I'm talking about. The steak comes out of the pan. Now we're going to allow the steaks to rest. Let that juice redistribute. So I've just taken out the potatoes from the oven. You can see that they're just starting to go brown, but we want more flavor, right? So remember all that good stuff that's in that pan, that butter, that bacon fat. In go the potatoes. Remember that pan's still going to be hot. So in go these potatoes. We're gonna give it a nice surface area. We're gonna crank this pan back onto high for two minutes. And allow it to get all these golden crispy bits off the bottom of this pan and into the potatoes. We wanna add more flavor into everything you do. So right now these potatoes are good as is, but we want them to be nice and crusty and beautiful. So we're gonna let that go for two minutes and then in the oven they go. So this allows the bottom of that to heat back up, get more color on the bottom of the potatoes, and then once in the oven, it's gonna get nice and golden brown on top. It's gonna be outstanding. All right, y'all, the magic is happening. The potatoes are just starting to get nice and crisp on that one side. So we're gonna shut this off. Into the oven it's gonna go for about five minutes. By that time, the steak will be nice and rested and we'll have these beautifully crispy potatoes. Look at that. Like I told you, that extra step is definitely worth it. So into the oven this is gonna go. Your potatoes are golden brown and delicious. We're gonna take this we're gonna make it even more special. So we're just gonna take this and just drain that fat off. All that bacon grease and that butter. Make sure you save it, because you can use it again. And if that isn't good enough, we're gonna make it even better. Some Parmesan cheese right over top. There you have it. Easy steak and potatoes, ladies and gentlemen. Our steak is rested beautifully. Look at that, I took a little piece because I was hungry. It's good, let me tell you, it's good. And the potato guys, like I said, fast, simple, easy. Steak and potatoes at home. Let's get into this. First a little potato, because that's what I was waiting for. Mm. Mm-hmm. You take that little extra step, put it back in that cast iron pan. Oh, phenomenal. Definitely worth it. Steak. The seasonings all the way through the meat. That's what happens when you let it marinate for that period of time. It's delicious. Y'all gotta give this a try. So if you like that video, please hit that subscribe button and follow me at The Flavors on Instagram so you can catch all the latest episodes of Cooking with the Flavors. Thank you, and I'll see y'all in the next one.